President, last year I uh, took up the, the banner, actually, uh, that had been started by uh, the presiding officer's um, uh, colleague who preceded him in this, in this chamber, and that was the effort of honoring on a regular basis uh, exemplary federal employees right here on the Senate floor. That tradition, is, as the presiding officer knows, was begun by my good friend, Senator Ted Kaufman. So I want to start this new 112th Congress uh, with what will be a will be weekly occurrence uh, where I will come forward and, and recognize uh, federal employees uh, who play an extraordinarily role, important role in our, in our country. I'm blessed to have a great number of those employees in the Commonwealth of Virginia. I know there's a great number of well in, in the great state of Delaware. Uh, but today, I thought starting off with this session, I would actually rise on a no specific employee, but to honor congressional staff here on Capitol Hill and on the many congressional districts across the country. There are nearly 6,000 federal employees in the Senate and nearly 10,000 that serve the House of Representatives. I'm referring to the individuals who sort the mail, the clerks who sit before you in, in the presiding office, uh, the folks who manage the chamber day in and day out, the Capitol Police who do an incredibly important job of making sure that we're able to work in a safe environment. I'm also referring to those folks who work directly for us as, as members of Congress. Uh, they work their hearts out for us. Uh, one of my members here, Beatrice, is here with me today. They work long hours and get little attention, but clearly they impact the lives of millions and millions of Americans every day. I know a little bit about this firsthand because I started my career in politics as a staff member for then Congressman Chris Dodd. Uh, I did manage to get him lost a number of times as I drove him around his district in eastern Connecticut. And I, uh, that experience taught me how dedicated the congressional staff are, that they are truly public servants, instrumental to the democratic process that takes, floor, takes place here on the floor of the Senate and on the floor of the House. Congressional staff help members of Congress draft and analyze legislation. They respond to literally thousands of letters, phone calls, and emails on a regular basis. And more often than not, they are there out in the district or back at home when we are here in Washington. I know that my state staff have helped Virginians with securing adoptions, reuniting families through our immigration casework, and simply helping countless Virginian families navigate the complex bureaucracy that we know is the federal government. Congressional staff also help us plan events that bring us closer to those that we represent so that we can continue to hear their views or complaints as we try to communicate our agenda. I want to take a special moment, and I know we did this as a body last week when we paid tribute to those who were lost in the horrible shooting in Tucson. But I think it's important to remember as we pray for the recovery of Congresswoman Giffords that we re recall as well this, the member of her staff, Gabe Zimmerman, who was Congressman Giffords, Congresswoman Giffords' director of community outreach. Yeah, he was one of the victims of that mass shooting. And he was simply doing his job organizing for the Congresswoman, the Congress on Your Corner event, to make sure that the folks who had hired her, the people of Arizona, had a chance to see her firsthand and express their views. I also want to make sure that we recognize and continue to keep in our prayers Paula Simon, Simon and Ronald Barber, who were injured on that day and are in the process of making that recovery. Um, but as we keep in mind that tragedy, I think, I think it's important that we recall that not only are those of us who are directly hired um, sometimes put in harm's way by this job, but literally there are thousands of particularly young people who work for us day in and day out without a lot of recognition who uh, are public servants as well. And as we saw so tragically a month or so ago in Tucson, uh, they as well sometimes give the, the greatest devotion of service. I hope that my colleagues will join me in, over the coming week or two and uh, say a special thanks to 
all of us who work long and hard for us on our staff, the pages who uh, keep the order here, the reporters who make sure that even if we go a little bit too long-winded, uh, take down virtually every word, even those, uh, those special folks up on the dais who uh, have been known at times to keep uh, uh, new members awake during particularly long-winded speeches from uh, members on the floor. So uh, I thank our congressional staff. We will be back on a regular basis to, uh, to celebrate the, the very good work of federal employees in various walks of life, but I can't think of a better way to restart this tradition than this week honoring those great members who serve us here in the Senate and the House. And with that, uh, Mr. President, I yield the floor and note the absence of a quorum.